Master the usage of some and any in English. Your guide to error correction. Hello language learners. Today, we're going to dive into a critical part of English grammar fundamentals, quantifiers. More specifically, we're going to focus on the usage of some and any and how to correct common mistakes when using them. Remember, mastering these determiners will help you improve your English fluency significantly. Before we delve into error correction, let's have a quick recap of the basic rules of using some and any. 1. Some is typically used in positive statements. Example, I have some apples. 2. Any is used in negative statements and questions. Example, do you have any apples? Or, I don't have any apples. It's also important to note that some can be used in questions when we expect the answer to be yes or when we are offering something. Now, let's move on to our main segment, the error correction exercises. I'll read out sentences that use some or any, but there's a twist. Some of these sentences contain errors in their usage. Your task is to identify and correct these mistakes. Exercise 1. Do you have some books I could borrow? Exercise 2. She doesn't have some money to buy that dress. Exercise 3. I see any reason why we shouldn't go. Exercise 4. Would you like any coffee? After you've taken a moment to correct these sentences, let's go through them together and discuss the corrections. Exercise 1. The correct sentence should be, Do you have any books I could borrow? Because we typically use any in questions unless we expect the answer to be yes. Exercise 2. The correct sentence is, She doesn't have any money to buy that dress. In negative statements, we use any instead of some. Exercise 3. The correct sentence is, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't go. Since this is a negative statement, any should be used. Exercise 4. This sentence can be correct if it is used in a context where any is expected. However, if we're offering coffee, the correct sentence would be, would you like some coffee? And that's it for today, folks. We've successfully navigated the tricky waters of some and any in English. Remember, the key to mastering these quantifiers is practice. So, keep going over examples and exercises, and soon, it'll be second nature to you. We hope this video has been helpful, and as always, Happy learning!